You pull your car in front of a big building named John X Global. A bright smile appeared on your face as you looked at your newborn son sitting in an infant car seat safely buckled up. We are finally here baby. Are you excited to meet your dad? You said cutely to your baby before unbuckling his seat belt and closed the door carrying him inside the building while talking to him. Wow, Appa is such a big businessman, right? You came inside talking to your baby. This was the very first time you came to your husband's workplace, even though it's been more than six years you guys know each other. You never expected anyone to recognize you because you don't go to many places related to work, whether parties or anything. But still, all the staff and employees there recognized you and greeted you very politely. Hello, Mrs. John. How are you? The manager came to you smiling. You flashed a sweet smile at her before nodding. Your son was in your arms. Hello, I'm Mr. John's manager and it's so nice to see you here and your son is so cute. Thank you so much. Uh, can you please show me Mr. Jungkook's office? She smiled and nodded. Sure ma'am, everyone is just waiting for you from the morning. You looked at her confused while she smiled knowing your confusion. Actually Mr. John had told everyone that you are coming to the office today, so everyone was just excited to meet you. We have heard a lot of good things about you. You smiled shyly. That was unexpected. Where is he now? He's in a meeting right now. I will walk you to his office. You can wait there. You nodded. Everyone was just looking at you, smiling and bowing to greet you as you walked behind Tina. This was a little awkward because you are not used to such attention and being introvert. You really don't like it, but this was all their affection and love, so you were happy to see such a light-hearted people working with your husband. Jungkook just came inside the office from the meeting along with his secretary. He sat down immediately starting his work because he was sending a file. Ma came near him with a mischievous smile. Sometimes he gets in a playful mood. They both are good friends. He leaned over Jungkook's desk with a smirk. You know sir, I think the best thing you ever did for this company was hiring me. I mean, who else could make this office as lively as I do? Jungkook raised an eyebrow trying to keep a serious face. Is that so, Mark? Last I checked, your job was filing reports, not enhancing the office vibe. Hey Chakar, oh come on boss, you know you'd be lost without me. Who else would bring you coffee exactly how you like it? Three shots of espresso, no sugar and a dash of Mark magic. Jungkook sighed and turned his chair towards him. If by mark magic you mean spilling it half the time, then yes, you are irreplaceable. Mark winked at him. Admit it, John, you'd miss me. You know, I think you and I make a fantastic team like Peanut Butter and Jelly, Batman and Robin, or even better, Jungkook and Mark. Jungkook can't help but chuckle, shaking his head at Mark's shameless flattery. You know my match is already made. I'm happy with my wife, Jungkook and Mayin, and now my son is there. Mark dramatically places a hand on his chest. One of these days, you're going to realize I'm the best thing that ever happened to you, boss. And when that day comes, don't say I didn't warn you. Mrs. John is on my side too. Jungkook looked at him. Oh really? She might come anytime soon. We'll see whose side she will be. Even though you don't know many people in office, Mark often visit John Mansion for work purposes, so you guys also have a good bond. You think my wife will take your side over me? Mark shrugged his shoulders and before he replied, there was a knock on the door. Come in, he said casually expecting an employee but the moment you came inside, Jungkook's lips curled up into a smile. He got up immediately and rushed to your side. Hello, Ayan. Mark said while you smiled at him. Hi, Mark. It's been a while. Jungkook came near before kissing your forehead and took his son in his arms. 
my babies are here. You giggled. He rested his hand on the small of your back and guided you towards the couch. I thought you'll get late. I took a day off. I mean, I'm free this month, so. He smiled and kissed his son's cheek. That's great. That means we get to spend this month with Mama, right, Jill? You all walked towards the couch before sitting. Ma came there while you smiled. Boss was waiting desperately for you today, but don't worry, I was giving him company. Jungkook shook his head while you chuckled. That's so nice of you, Ma. I wonder what would Jungkook do without you. His smile widened in more teasing way while Jungkook looked at you. Don't get him started now, Ryan. He's already too much. Mark looked at him, raising an eyebrow. Am I? At least I wasn't checking the clock every 10 seconds. You seem pretty eager for Ryan to get here. Jungkook cleared his throat, trying to play it cool. I was working, Mark. Just because I glanced over once or twice doesn't mean I was waiting. Sure, sure. And that three-page email you sent me about your schedule today has nothing to do with keeping the afternoon free. He said, smirking. He looked at Jungko confused. Free? I thought you wanted me to help you with some work. Did I hear something wrong? Jungko looked at you before shaking his head. Of course I need your help Jagya that's why I told him to keep the afternoon free Mark smiled mischievously knowing very well that his boss has another plan to impress his wife Oh so is it going to be work work or just romance at work huh I'll decide that by myself Mr Mark Yeah but I can help you like I always do don't I You were trying to control your smile. Jungkook and Mark are friends from college and even though they are work buddies, Mark still teases him whenever he gets a chance. He's the one who never let Jungkook go to that cold side. Wow, seems like you are taking over all the place, Mark. Should I be worried? You give him good company. Jungkook looked at you. Why are you also talking like him? I'm just saying what I'm seeing. I think that's the reason you come home late. Of course, Mark gives you good company. Finally, someone to appreciate my efforts. Thanks, Wangit. You are the best. Jungko got up, taking his son in his arms. You also got irritated with Mark, uncle, right, baby? Should we send him away for a while? His son just cooed in a baby voice. He was in his own world. Yes, now you'll get bored with me because your sweet little family is here. Other times it's just Mark, Mark. Yes, Mr. Mark, you can rest that you badly wants since I make you work so much. You did make me work a lot, but now that you're having fun, you're having it without your favorite person, huh? That's selfish. You giggle seeing their banter. Of course, Mark was being playful. He has always been. I would like to be selfish for a while to spend some time with my two favorite people. Jill, say goodbye to Uncle Mark and tell him not to come until we are done having. A little family time. He's a looking at his son. Baby, your father is really selfish, but because you're too cute, I'm letting this slide. I'll see you later, okay? Wow, I feel like a villain who became a reason for two lovers' breakup. Jungkook looked at you in disbelief while Mark chuckled. Not you, Wayan. Okay, now that's enough. I won't bother you guys. Enjoy your time, okay? He pinched Jill's cheek gently before leaving while Jungkook closed the door and sighed. He chuckled coming near him. You have interesting employees to keep you entertained all day. No wonder you like coming to work. Oh god, not you, Ryan. I don't know what happened to this guy sometimes, but let's not talk about this now. Are you happy coming to a past workplace, baby? Did you like here? Jill was just making baby sounds. You came near before sitting beside him. He was missing you at home. Jungkook smiled and looked at you. Me too. It's hard for me to focus on work. 
I always think about you guys. Oh, is that why you call me here, huh? Jungle grabbed his arm around your shoulders before pulling you close. I was missing you badly and you never visited my workplace so when I heard you were taking leave from work, I thought I will ask you to come here. I always dreamt of having you around me in my office. It gives me so much happiness that I can't even express. You raised an eyebrow crossing your arms playfully. So you tricked both of us, Mr. Jungkook. I thought you actually need my help. Jungkook kissed your forehead. I do, but hey, let me have some good time with my beloved wife and this cutie pie. Did you like this place, Bunny? See it all well. You're going to take over it all once you grow up. And what if your bunny won't be interested in this? What if he wanted to do something else? Jungkook looked at you and then at his son. Then we'll support him in that too. Just like how his mother stayed strong on a decision and made everyone proud, he'll going to do that and make all of us proud. You smiled. You and Jungkook met in college and fortunately your parents were business partners and really good friends so when you both fell in love with each other, it wasn't just you guys who were happy, your families were happier and then you guys got married. It's been 3 years since you are married to Jungkook now and recently gave birth to a healthy boy who added infinite happiness in your lives. Jungkook's life was never easy. He was always told to be in the business and once he finished his studies, his life completely changed and it was all about work. But he's grateful that you are there for him. You are his strength and motivation to keep growing. You inhaled and looked around the office before smiling as your eyes landed on a picture frame. You walked near his desk and picked it up. It was a picture of you and Jill when he was born. It's been 4 months. I look so ugly in this picture. You shouldn't keep this picture here. Jungkook walked near you, carefully carrying his son in his arms. Ugly? Does that word even belong to you, darling? He looked at him. Stop buttering me up. I look terrible. Jungkook raised an eyebrow. Terrible. I remember seeing you like that and thinking I was the luckiest man alive. You rolled your eyes but a small smile creeped onto your face. Please, I look like a sleep deprived mess in this picture. Jungkook laughed softly, shifting your son in his arms as he looked at the photo. That mess gave me the most beautiful son in the world. This picture stays right here. You blushed slightly, playfully nudging his shoulder. Fine, but you owe me a better photo. Jungkook leaned closer while his gaze softened even more. Anyone can look at him and tell how madly he loves his little family. Deal, but just so you know, this picture of you is one of my favorite. It's a reminder of how strong and amazing you are. Your son coos in his arms, catching your attention. You gently brush your fingers across his tiny hand. Look, Jill, your daddy's being all sentimental. Jungkook chuckled, pressing a light kiss to your son's forehead. What can I say? You both have me wrapped around your little fingers. You laughed a little, then looked at your son. I can't believe it's already been 4 months. Time just flying by. Jungkook nodded, looking at your son with pure adoration. Every day I'm grateful and every day I fall more in love with both of you. He pulled you in a hug while holding his son in his arms. When you pulled back, you looked at him. I still can't get it. If you don't have any work this afternoon, why did you call me in? You are up to something, aren't you? Jungkook grinned, trying to look innocent but feeling miserably as he glanced at you and your son. Maybe I just wanted to see my beautiful wife and son at work. Is that a crime? You narrowed your eyes, seeing through his playful attempt. Oh, please, John Jungkook, you don't usually take afternoons off for nothing. What are you hiding?
He just smiled and walked near one of the cupboards. He watched as he pulled out a huge bucket of red roses and a small box tied with a silk ribbon. Your eyes widened, taken aback. You blinked in surprise before looking up at him. Jungkook, what is all this? Did I miss something important? Jungkook walked back over to you, roses in one hand and the small box in the other. His eyes were warm and playful as he handed you the bucket. I figured you might forget, that's why I came prepared. You laughed softly looking down at the roses, then back up at him, still confused. Forget what exactly? I feel like I'm missing something big here. He chuckled, shaking his head as he watched you piece it together, then gently opened the box to reveal a beautiful diamond necklace glimmering under the office lights. Today marks the anniversary of the day I first proposed to you, Ian. Your eyes widen even more as realization hit you and you feel a little embarrassed. Oh, I really did forget, didn't I? I'm so sorry, Jungkook. He took a step closer, wrapping his arm around your waist and caressed your son's cheek with the other hand. Don't be. I knew you would, but this day, this memory, means so much to me. I wanted to do something special for us, for our little family, because back then, when I asked you to be mine, I couldn't imagine how wonderful my life would become with you. He you felt a warmth spread through you as he gently placed the diamond necklace around your neck. His touch was tender. You caught his gaze in the reflection, seeing the love and pride in his eyes. From that first yes to holding our son together, every step has been a dream come true, Ryan. And even if you forget a million anniversaries, I'll keep celebrating everyone just to remind you how much you mean to me. He smiled and lifted your hand to his lips. Kissing it softly, you felt a warmth spread through you as you looked between him and your son. You got teared up little, seeing his love for you. You have thought of everything, haven't you? Always because I want you to know no matter what, that you are loved. He again took his son in his arms and kissed him before looking at both of you. You both are my world and I can never be thankful enough. Us as well, you are the best jungle, I love you so much for being the best husband for me and a great father for Jill. Jungkook smiled. Okay then, are you guys ready for a special evening today? You smiled and nodded. Jungkook already cleared his schedule to be with you guys the whole day. So taking his jacket and Jill in his arms, he walked outside the office with you feeling the luckiest man on this planet. 